friends, now that we have our composition notebook, our pencils, I'm also going to need you to grab a ruler. Okay, so you can pause the video real quick here, grab a ruler, but a ruler is going to be a really important part to first draw the number lines in our composition notebook. So just press pause on the video, run and go grab a ruler. Great, welcome back. Thanks for grabbing the ruler. So as you can see, <clears throat> I have five lines in here. All right, they're all the length of a ruler, 12 inches, okay? What I would like you to do first is draw five lines and just make sure you have a space. In this composition notebook, I have a space of one full line between each one. And the beginning of the line has a, the beginning of our number line here has a straight perpendicular line and the end will have an arrow. All right, so I'm gonna show you real quick one example of how we're gonna do that. So I'm gonna put my ruler down. And as you can see here, I'm using the entire composition notebook page, or two pages right here, drawn straight across so that we can use our full number line. All right, so I got a line there. I'm gonna draw my perpendicular line right here and my arrow right here. If you remember from our geometry studies, this arrow means that this line continues to go on. This is the beginning of our line. So over here is where our zero is. And our zero, our zero, and our zero. <clears throat> Up here on this line, I've already added all the numbers and I even completed a problem. We're gonna do that, do that problem together in a second. But for right now, I'm gonna move my ruler back down to the second line that I have drawn. And at every half inch, I'm gonna make a tally mark. So go ahead and pause the video now and draw your five lines. And then I would like you to complete your lines by making a mark at every half an inch, going all the way to the end of your ruler. All right, go ahead and pause that video and come back to me when you are ready. All right, welcome back. Now you can see I have gone ahead and added all the marks on each of my line at every half inch distance. Next step is gonna be adding our numbers. So I'm gonna go ahead and start on my line B here. We have zero, and the next one is just one. And two, three, we're gonna take it all the way to the end of the line to 26. All right, so I want you to go ahead and now add the numbers to each of your lines. Pause the video right here and go write those numbers in. All right, welcome back. And I can see here that I've completed writing in the numbers for all of my number lines, starting with zero in the perpendicular line and ending at 26. The arrow here means this line keeps going on, but for the sake of this work here, we're just gonna end at 26. So in the math folder, there is a number line document and that number line document has five problems. We're gonna do all five of those right now. So our first problem asks us, Lucky, Lucky the Leprechaun found three pots of gold, three pots of gold in the park and four pots of gold in the meadow. How many pots of gold did Lucky find? If we were doing this as a word problem, just abstractly, we remember right away we can just draw this line here. We could even go ahead and get rid of those words and focus on the numbers for now. And this becomes a three plus four, three plus four, which is seven. And then we bring our pots of gold back down here. Pots of gold. Our answer is seven pots of gold. Now, how would we do that using a number line? The number line is a really fun way to get a visual in addition and subtraction. So let's check it out. 
Lucky, the leprechaun, found three pots of gold. One, two, three. We're gonna draw our arrow to number three. Then, Lucky found four pots of gold. We're gonna add four more. One, two, three, four. That shows us right there that our answer is seven. Under it, we'll write our equation. Three plus four equals seven. Seven pots of gold. That's how we use our number line to complete that first problem. All right, let's look at our second problem here. Our second problem tells us that we have a red ant army. We have a red ant army with 10, 10 ants, all right? Three ants fell down the hole. Three ants were eaten and one blew, one blew away. We started with 10 and then we took away three because they fell down a hole, took away three more because they were eaten and took away one more because they blew away. Again, abstractly, this would be 10, take away three, take away three, take away one, 10 take away three is seven, take away three is four, take away one would leave us with, oh, just kidding. Yep, there we go. Right. We can also add these together. Three plus three is six, plus one is seven. 10 minus seven is three, okay? Let's look at this problem in our composition notebook with our number line. We are starting with 10, starting with 10. I'm gonna use some colored pencils. The colors don't matter, so you can use any colors you want, but we're starting with 10, okay? 10 ants, three ants fell down the hole. One, two, three. Three ants fell down the hole. Three ants were eaten. One, two, three. And finally, one ant blew away. One ant blew away. Three ants were eaten. Three ants fell down the hole. One ant blew away. That leaves us with our answer of three. So, 10 minus three minus three minus one equals three. Ants were left. All right, and that's how we would use the number line for our second problem. All right, let's move on to our next problem. Problem number three, C. Peter, Peter the rabbit ate four carrots for breakfast and three carrots for dinner. How many carrots did he eat in total? Similar to our first problem, this is really straightforward. We were asking how many carrots did Peter Rabbit eat in total? Four plus three is seven carrots. Let's go ahead and do that on our number line. So again, the colors you use for your numbers aren't specific. You can use any colors you want, but we're gonna start at zero. And Peter ate four carrots. One, two, three, four. Four carrots for breakfast. And then one, two, three carrots for dinner. That ends at seven. So again, we can go back and write down our equation under here. Four carrots plus three carrots equals seven carrots in total. Moving right along to our fourth problem, we're gonna check in with Jack. Jack. Jack had 
20 magic, 20 magic beans, right? He gave two beans to his sister. He gave three beans to his best friend. And he gave three beans for some unknown reason to his dog. Jack must really love that dog. How many beans did Jack have left? That question at the end triggers us to know that this is a subtraction problem. How many did he have left? So this subtraction problem is 20, take away two, take away three, take away three. As we showed before, we can easily turn this into a two digit subtraction problem by adding these together. Three plus three is six, plus two is eight. So this can become 20, take away eight, which is 12. That's our abstract problem. Let's do it on the number line. So again, we start with 20, 20, 20 carrots, or 20 magic beans, sorry, not carrots, 20 magic beans that Jack started with. We're gonna start right here. We're gonna start by giving two beans to his sister. Then we're gonna give three beans, one, two, three beans to his best friend. And then for some wild and unknown reason, one, two, three beans to his dog. As we can see, that ends our problem by showing us that 20 take away three, take away three. Oh, just kidding, sorry, I messed up the first one. 20 take away two, take away three equals 12. 20 take away two, take away three, take away three equals 12 beans left. All right, let's do our final problem <clears throat> using the number line here. And our problem states that Kara, right, Kara had a tower with 16, 16 blocks, right? Kara added four red, four red blocks, five blue blocks, and two green blocks. Two green blocks. Kara started with 16 blocks, and she added four red blocks, five blue blocks, and two green blocks. How many blocks does Kara's tower have? If we remember from our word problems, we're searching for the numbers. In this case, this problem is doing something a little tricky to us. It is trying to distract us with these colors. Does the total number of blocks matter the color that they are? No, no it doesn't. So in this case, put that out of the way for now. If we were to do this abstractly, we can look at these numbers and just pretty quickly see that this is 16 plus four, which equals 20, 20, 20 plus five equals 25, plus two equals 27. That would be our answer if we we're doing it abstractly. Let's check out our number problem, <clears throat> our, our word problem on the number line. This problem's a little bit different because we're starting at a number that is not zero for the addition. We're starting at 16, right? And in this case, we're even gonna go beyond our number line here. So we're gonna have to add something at the end there for a second. So let's start with 16. Right? We're gonna add one, two, three, four. Four red blocks. One, two, three, four, five. Five blue blocks and one, 
two green blocks. Extend our line. Kara started with 16 blocks and added one, two, three, four green blocks, one, two, three, four, five blue blocks, one, two green blocks, which ended with 27 blocks in total. All right, friends, that concludes our number line lesson. If you did this lesson with your composition notebook in front of you and a pencil and we're working during the entire lesson like i announced in the beginning of the lesson there is no follow-up work to this lesson this lesson was intended for us to practice using a number line and presenting the number line as another way to complete abstract addition and subtraction problems there is no follow-up work with the exception of those five problems that we just did in the notebook so if you were just watching during this lesson, I suggest going back and watching this video again, but this time starting over with your composition notebook and a pencil and a ruler ready to work so you can complete this work while you are watching the video. All right, thanks for joining and good luck with your rest of your work cycle.